Are you excited about E3 too, little kitty? Huh? Yeah, you're excited about E3 too, aren't you? Yeah. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, little kitty. I'm so excited too. That I'm gonna be super excited about it. Now, the latest news about me, the truck thing, it's it's happening for one, and two. I'm gonna upload this video as soon as I get done with it. It might be at midnight when it gets uploaded, or sometime tonight. But this is being recorded at uh, what time is it? 10:46 uh, p.m. So, and now my little kitty, whom is on her heat right now, just won't leave me alone. So, I'm going to be petting her while I go through the E3 stuff so far. And you guys will have to um, enjoy this non-stop petting of this little kitty on her heat. Anyways, E3, ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday, I had witnessed... The greatest announcement, no, 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 not the greatest announcement. The greatest reveal of gaming history. Fallout 4 was by far the greatest reveal I've ever seen until tonight, like earlier tonight. Earlier tonight... I've been watching PlayStation E3. I actually just got done watching it. And um, I got so freaking excited that I could not wait until... Um, what are you doing? I could not wait any any other time this week. Oh, you're stuck. You're stuck, kitty. You're stuck. You're stuck. Let me unstuck you. There you go. Anyways, um... <laughs> No Man's Sky was probably by far the best thing I've ever seen. Still the best thing I've ever seen. And it's, it, that game was revealed last year. And it's still one of the best freaking games ever. And then, of course, you got Uncharted 4, I think it was. And um, I know that there's some other great games out there that deserve to be talked about. But there's one thing, one thing that I kind of knew, but I did not want to talk about because I didn't know if it was actually going to happen or not. And then I saw Microsoft's E3, and then I wondered why Microsoft did not show anything, anything about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 until the Sony announcement came along. I know, you're super excited too. For the first time ever, Sony and Activision has finally teamed up. And now PlayStation people will have exclusives to upcoming Call of Duty games. First things first is Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We will be first to do the beta First for the DLCs, basically first for everything. Now that is how a PlayStation user should be treated. First for everything. Not Microsoft with their disappointing Xbox One. Hate to say it, but although I would still like to have an Xbox One. Just not yet. I still want to wait until the Slims come out. And I'm kind of super excited that they haven't because it's way too early to even talk about a Slim. Isn't that right, little kitty? It's way too early to talk about a Slim. So, out of everything that I've seen, from Bethesda to Microsoft to EA to Ubisoft, I didn't even pay much attention to Ubisoft, to be honest. And of course, Sony. I think by far, uh, Sony had the best, no, maybe the best, next to Bethesda. Because Bethesda kicked off E3 the correct way. Just revealing the greatest of the great. And then Sony, of 
course, making a great end. Of course, we got like two and three more conferences tomorrow. And, um, and I might not be able to watch those, so that's why I'm doing this tonight. So, um, first things first, EA, uh, Star Wars Battlefront. We got a super exclusive look to Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, of course, the infamous battle scene, the battle for Hoth from episode 5. And that was by far the best part of today. By far, give or take. I loved every single moment from Battlefront, and I honestly cannot wait for this game. Now, something that I've yet to even hear about... I don't know if this was talked about because I really wasn't paying that much attention to Microsoft or Sony, to be honest, because I was doing other things. So I only got the major, major surprises and exclusives and all that great stuff. I didn't really pay attention to um, the post-show, the pre-show, and everything in between of those. So the one thing that they really have yet to even mention is what's that one game oh right guitar hero live now for some reason people are calling it guitar hero 4 how is guitar hero 4 coming out when guitar hero 5 is already out doesn't make any sense does does it little kitty no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's Guitar Hero Live, not Guitar Hero 4. If it had a 4, or no, if it was the 4th Guitar Hero game, it would have had a number 4 in the damn game, or in the damn title. Isn't that right, little kitty? Isn't that light? Light. Is that right? Now, other than that, there's some other super exclusives from Microsoft, EA, Ubisoft, Sony. I'm super excited about all that. I want you guys to post it in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think. Also, subscribe, like, comment, Twitter, YouTube, or Facebook. I got, I actually got to go. So, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys next time.